Okay? That, that isn't what I was expecting. Hello guys, welcome back to Car Obsession and welcome once more to Euron, my Audi A6. Now in this video, as you can tell by the title, it is all about fuel economy. Right, so everything is all reset. Now I'm not, I'm not saying I'm gonna be hypermiling the car because this is really, I want it to be real well. So I'm gonna drive the car as I would normally. When I drive you and I don't drive in a particularly spirited manner because he's got a bit of poke to him, but he's not particularly fast as such. Uh, he's more of a, a, a cruiser, a Grand Tourer. So I'm back at home after uh, my relatively short drive from Chichester. Now the trip computer says I have achieved 40.3 mpg. I've covered 18.8 uh, miles, but I think that's all lies, all lies. I think that trip computer uh, is as true as a serial liar. But um, that's the whole point of this video, to see what the proper uh, real world uh, fuel economy is. So yes, uh, I will of course keep you updated, so stay tuned. The next journey was another shortish run as it was a family trip out to Sea Life Brighton. Oh, look at the size of that turtle, massive. We travelled to Brighton at the weekend, meaning the roads were busier, which of course had an impact on the fuel economy. This journey saw 25.3 mpg, and the journey itself took just under an hour, with an average speed of 14 miles per hour. So needless to say, this wasn't the most free-flowing journey. The return journey saw less traffic, which of course did positive things for the mpg, and I was able to get 32.7. Average speed was also higher with a speed of 19 miles per hour and miles covered at this point were at 45.1. Next up there was a chance for Ewan to stretch his V6 powered legs a bit more as we went from Worthing to Surrey to see family. As you can predict, the longer more free flowing journey saw a noticeable improvement in fuel economy. I achieved 42.1 and the journey time was around one hour and a half with an average speed of 36 miles per hour and 93.9 .9 miles covered in total to this point. From there I crossed into another county as I needed to nip into Essex to pick up some car parts. So in this visit you join me in Essex because I'm here at Shepherd Motors picking up some, uh, some parts for Leo, my Mark 1 Leon Cupra, sorry Mark 2 Leon Cupra I should say. Um, and let's have a look at the old MPG. So the trip computer is looking very healthy although I think uh, the trip computer is a big fat massive liar. But as you can see I've done 47.7 miles to the gallon, well that's what the trip computer is indicating at least. Uh, average speed 50 miles per hour, uh, and that journey was one hour 20. And uh, if I go to Trip Computer 2, in total I've done five hours, 15 hours of driving. Uh, average MPG 37.5. Average speed 29. But look at this, look. Ewan has ticked over 212,000 miles. Oh boy. He has almost gone to the moon. Wow. So, yes, it'd be interesting to see um how the rest of this um fuel economy video goes uh, i'll be doing one or two more trips then i'll be filling the tank back up then uh, breaking out the calculator from there it was of course time to return to surrey okay so back from essex back into surrey as you can see, I've done 44.7. I did hit a bit more traffic on my way back, uh, 
yeah, the trip back wasn't uh, as good. Uh, average speed fell down to 41 miles per hour, it's just fallen down to 40. There we go. And if we go to trip computer two, uh, average MPG is now 39.1, average speed 31. And there we go. That's how much I've done since I've refueled 223.3 miles. Uh, and yeah, that is that for that update. After that, it was time to return home to Sunny Worthing. So we are back in Worthing from Surrey, and as you can see on this trip, I did 40.8 uh, miles to the gallon, average speed 32 miles per hour. If I go to trip computer two, you'll see it's at 39.7 MPG uh, for all the driving I've done since I've uh, filled up the tank. Average speed of 31 miles per hour, a range of 385 miles. And if I go to the fuel gauge, you will see it's just above half. Before I kind of um, fill you and back up and, and uh, bring a close to this uh, experiment, I'm going to do a bit of town driving purely because a lot of the driving I've been doing have been motorways or dual carriageways or A roads, uh, kind of nice flowing traffic. Uh, I haven't really hit a lot of stop start town traffic. So, yeah. Gonna go for a little drive up and down the Worthing seafront. Uh, it is a beautiful day for it, so why not? Uh, fill the tank back up and I will reconvene with you in a little bit. The time to fill up the tank, do some calculations, some maths, and work out what the true MPG is. Because according to the Trip Computer 2, the overall MPG I'm, I've done is 39.1 miles to the gallon. Oh, there we go, that's just opened up for me. That's very convenient. Drink it up, Ewan. Drink it up. Let's pay up and do some maths. Okay, so before I do my calculations and give you the, uh, the result, to, to confirm a few things, this car has got a fuel tank capacity of 80 litres. Since I filled you and up last time, I have covered 276.1 miles. According to the uh, secondary trip computer, which I haven't reset since my last fill up, uh, I've done 39.1 miles to the gallon. But how true is that? Now for a bit of context, I've done uh, another fuel economy test with a good friend of the channel and fellow YouTuber Pocket Rockets for our new uh, joint, joint channel, uh, which will be coming in due course. So please subscribe. The channel is called Those Two Car Guys. And when we did that, what I actually did compared to the trip computer was well out um, for the for the bad, not for the good. But anyway, I'm not, anyway, anyway, that's something else you'll see at another time uh, before I bore you too much and uh, lose your focus. Let's uh, do some calculations. So uh, I'm on mpg-calculator.co.uk, hashtag no ad, just wanted to let you know what I'm using. So distance in miles, 276.1, litres of fuel used, uh, according to, the, to this receipt, 26.64. Okay. That, that isn't what I was expecting. I'm going to try another one. So this time it's fuel-economy.co.uk. That's also coming up, coming up the same amount. 
There we go. So 47.2, sorry, 0.12, I should say. Look at that. Over 47 miles to the gallon from a 3-litre V6. I'm actually quite quite amazed, quite stunned. Um, yeah. I didn't think it would be that much. Um, so I am uh, pleasantly surprised. That's pretty amazing. You know, a, a big old V6 to do 47 point 12 miles to the gallon I just I think it's incredible that's, that's that's really really good bearing in mind some of my longer trips I did hit a bit of traffic as well so it could have been even higher dare I say it could have even been pushing the 50s so wow what well on you and you frugal well, I was, was going to say frugal little thing, but you're not exactly little, are you? Um, yeah. Oh, guys, let me know in the comment section, was that better or worse than you were expecting? Uh, I doubt many of you will, will say it was worse than what, what you were expecting, but who knows? Um, yeah. So on that, um, on that jubilant note, I am going to end the video there. I do you hope you have enjoyed it or found it useful. Uh, as always, if there's any particular comment you want to see with you and please do let me know and I will make, uh, I'll do, do, do my best to make that happen. Um, yes, yeah, so if you have enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. If you are subscribed, don't forget to click the bell icon so you get notified every time I make a video. But until the next time, guys, be sure to keep up the car obsession. Go on, Ewan, you lad. <laughs>